Hello everyone, Tavi Ginario here. I'm a classical guitarist and here are seven tips that you could start implementing today and improve your classical guitar playing immediately. So first of all, what makes for a great classical guitarist? Tone. What you can do and you could start implementing this today is to develop your tone. So what makes for a good quality tone? Anyone, anywhere could get a thin, nearly brittle sound on the guitar. But very few people are masters of tone. Uh, the likes of Segovia and Parkening and other great guitarists that are known for their tonal quality. So what makes for great guitar tone? First of all, good nails. Segovia said if you don't have good nails, you shouldn't even play the guitar. I don't think that's true, I don't think that's accurate, but regardless of how good our nails are, we can make some progress in this area. So I wanna show you just some general principles for filing your nails and then uh, polishing them and using sandpaper. So first of all, regardless of how strong or soft your nails are, you could work on the shape of the nail. For the thumb, I always file this left side of the nail at an angle. I file it at an angle because then the thumb is going to glide more easily on the bass strings. And I'm not using the thumb to play parallel to the strings, but I'm turning the thumb inward almost at a 45 degree angle to create that beautiful dark sound. For the IMA fingernails, you may experiment with the shape. For the A nail, because my A nail grows weird, I decided to file this far part of the nail for a thicker tone. You may try with a rounded nail first and then experiment with shapes. Try to shave off, file down uh, the, the sides of the nail and figure out what works best for you. But one of the best secrets is this sandpaper. This is 500 grit sandpaper. And what I do to get an immediately good tone, I place it on the first string and then I start doing some rest strokes. And just allow the sandpaper to remove any points of resistance in the nail. I do the same with every single finger. When I'm done, I just take the sandpaper and go right across to create a very, very dull edge. I don't want a sharp edge. So there you go, that's the story about nails. So once our nails are in good shape, it's time to talk about plucking technique. We shouldn't try to pluck the string from underneath and outward. That will render a very naily, thin sound. Instead, we should plant the fingers at a slight angle. The point of contact is at the intersection of flesh and nail, not planting on the flesh and then traveling, but right there, right before the nail begins. And then plucking towards the wrist. There is the sound. Listen to the difference. Big difference. Also, you may want to try to experiment with a technique called slicing the string where you turn the nail almost at a 90 degree and you slice the string for that really thick, dark sound. Christopher Parkin also employed a technique called unscrewing the jar, where you plant and then you have this unscrewing of the jar movement. And that produces a beautiful sound as well. But practice generally plucking towards the wrist. going to be the bread and butter of classical guitar tone.
If you have enjoyed this video, drop us a comment and check out EliteGuitarist.com. On that site, I have tons of courses and repertoire tutorials, and I invite you to dive with me in this wonderful world that the classical guitar is. In the meantime, cheers and press on, everybody.